Uh, quite a few of us were talking uh, as you were getting your pictures taken there. You look to be a couple inches uh, taller than Chris O'Toole. How tall are you legitimately at this point? Um, seven foot with uh, no shoes. So they might list me as seven one or maybe seven feet. With the shoes, probably seven four? No, no, no. <laughs> I wish. I wish. All That'd right. be good. We might get some heighteners in there. We could get a, up to seven four. Be able to look to beat right in his eye. or Exactly. Even though I won't get to play against him, but that's fine. Maybe uh, later on in maybe the, later on. our careers. Um, looking at uh, where you came from, obviously a much higher level than what you're used to. Uh, how has the adjustment gone for you so far? Uh, the adjustment's been great. Like, as soon as we got here, um, me, Chris, Jimmy, and Joe landed here uh, on June 26th. And right away, we were thrown into open gym sessions. And, like, it's definitely a really fast pace and more aggressive. Um, we found... I found the switch like hard personally, but I found that if I, if I went as hard as I could every day, that I could, that I could keep up. And and guys were telling me, um, like, giving me advice on on little things that could make make me better. And they, it's just been really really easy with with the support from the guys here. So and, and the coaching staff as well. So. It's been uh, great. You mentioned the coaching staff. Is there any particular coach that's been working with you on your development? Um. Yeah. Coach Coach Lair, uh, for sure is. Um, specializes with with big men so he's, he's been helping me a lot with my shooting touch and just my just like having soft touch around the rim and stuff um also with, with post drills like he's been putting me chris and burke and uh, pat also through to a series of post drills almost every day so we're getting a lot better at that i see i see dale Lair's helped me out the most uh, having been to some of the open gyms in the past, it's it's not unusual for a little skirmish to break out between teammates. Having seen your brother on YouTube, uh, when you get in a little tussle with one of your teammates, do you tend to pull the jersey over the top of the head and then go at the body? <laughs> no, 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 not at all. Um, we have had a, a, a couple little scrums in open gym, but it's been mostly like, like as soon as it happens, other guys will pull you back and stuff like that. So no one's been jerseyed as of yet. So. <laughs> Right, um, right with that. Looking at your past, you, you believe you did play hockey and lacrosse, yeah. but not basketball until a little bit later. Mm -hmm. um, how did playing those other sports help you in basketball? Uh, I think with the hockey background, just just because obviously hockey players move more laterally than basketball players um, mostly, so I think that I was kind of set up to, to like because because hockey you have to be low also. So well, being low in every sport helps, and so it's, you need to be tall around the rim so um yeah i think just maybe the endurance from skating and just running on the lacrosse field has helped out a lot with my with my running game um i i can get up and down the court pretty fast for someone seven foot 250 pounds so um yeah i'd say the lateral movement the most has helped out with the lateral movement you think help you more on defense oh yeah yeah defensively for, for sure like hockey and lacrosse i played defense in both sports so that's my thing you know protect the goalie protect the net exactly